Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video, a very late May favourite. Um, this is a massive month, I went swatch crazy during May, so I'm not even going to carry on talking anymore, I'm just going to get straight into it and as normal we're going to do the mainstream brands first and we're going to start with China Glaze. So the first one that I have is Hook and Line and this is from the Capital Colours um, Hunger Games collection that came out for autumn a few years ago. I now have, think I have eight or nine of the collection, I'm very very close to completing it. I love this collection just because it's such a lovely neutral autumny collection, I just think it's a really nice ba like basic range of neutral colours and I just love it. This one is a little bit different, a few people have said this is hard to wear on certain skin tones, I found it quite nice. It's not a silver, it's not a gold, it's not a bronze, it's kind of got a few drops of like naked skin tone in there, it's very very odd colour. This got completely opaque in two coats and this is hook and line, have a look at the swatch photos. Also from China Glaze, I got Radiant. And now this is the one that I got in a duo set with Surreal Appeal that I showed you in last month's favourites. And this is a really, really nice dense micro glitter by China Glaze. China Glaze to me, when I think of them, they do really, really nice neons and they do really, really nice dense micro glitters. And this is just a rainbow. It is just mainly a silver base. Sorry, my, my autofocus isn't working. I don't know why I went in there. My... It's, it's, <laughs> It's a dense micro glitter, silver base um, mainly, and then you get like a mixture of different rainbow colours moving in there. This took probably between two and three coats to get completely opaque. You might find some nails you can get away with two, and some you have to put three on. But have a look at the swatch photos for yourself, but it is stunning and just a glitter disco ball on your nails. Radiant by China Glaze. one OPI and this is called A Great Affair and this came out in the Coca-Cola collection which was last year and it's also been re-promoted for this year so I think you can still get this quite easily. It's just a dark purple grape cream, nothing too special about it, it was nothing too special on my nails except for a nice grape. Good formula as always with OPIs, it's completely opaque in two coats and I actually got this in a birch box I think so I didn't actually pick this up myself to buy, um, I think it, I'm pretty sure it came in a birch box. But nevertheless if you want a nice dark grapey purple this is the one for you. So this is a great affair by OPI. Next is Butter London and I haven't shown them in a while, I did a massive haul absolutely ages ago and since then I've been trying to kind of swatch one a month because otherwise it would be just ramming up your news feed on Instagram with how much Butter London I have. So this one is British Racing Green and this is a really nice dark forest green colour. Um, I have so many of this colour, this is my favourite shade of green, this is very comparable to... Um, Oh my goodness, Welcome to Forks by Dollish Polish. So if you haven't been able to get your hands on that, because I believe it's now sold out and all gone, this one is a good dupe for that. Um, so this is about two coats. I think it's only two, two coats. The Butter London is another one very similar to Glam Polish, which always has really, really nice formula. So this is two coats of British Racing Cream by Butter London. Have a look at the swatch. Everybody say hello to Tyler, he always gets in here when I'm filming and he's snooting around in a carrier bag to rustle. How annoying. The next one I have is Status Symbol and this is a bright jelly crelly um, pink by Essie. I would say it's probably more crelly. It built up really really nicely for a Essie formula and it seemed so nice and squishy on the nails. Uh, I do talk about this more. This came in a um, Nail Box UK subscription box that I received a few, I think it was, was that May's box? It might even have been May's box. So I'll link that video down below for you if you want to check out the um, Nail Box UK in more detail or more about this polish. So this one is Status Symbol by Essie. On to the Indies and I have two KB Shimmer. These are both from the Spring Collection of this year. The first one is called Blush Money. Now when I originally picked this up I thought this was another holographic. So there's a blue, green, purple and I thought this was the pink holographic from that collection and it's not. It's really really stunning but it's not holographic so it was just I just was a bit confused because that's what I thought it was going to be. Um, it's a really nice baby pink that you see here with loads of gold shimmer in the background. And it kind of goes like a bit gold and then a bit iridescent. Um, it took about three coats to build up to be completely opaque. And like I say, it's not a holographic, so don't go buy anything thinking it is. It is still stunning. This is Blush Money by KB Shimmer. 
The other one from KB Shimmer is the ones that I like the most. I love, oh, my top is completely all twisted. I love the Crelly Mixes by KB Shimmer, and this one is called Peak My Interest. So it is a, um, sort of kind of similar to Blush Money, a, a, um, like coral pinky red um, jelly base with then um, white triangles, purple hexes, purpley blue hexes, and then smaller white circly glitter. I'm really rubbish at describing curly mixes. Um, like I say, it's just a big mixture of white and blue and purple triangles and hexes in a variety of different sizes. Really, really nice, and this built up quite well. Similar to some of the others I've spoken about, two to three coats depending on how thick you put it on. So this one is Peak by Interest by KB Shimmer. Next two are ones that were sent to me by Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails and I will link her channel down below. They are some indies and the first one is from Loaded Lacquer and this is Megalodon. Now this is a kind of like greyish blue base with so many triangles and glitter hexes in it can you even see there like how dense that is it built up really nicely on my nail the only thing i would say this is my first loaded lacquer so i can't compare it did chip quite quickly you can get this opaque it's similar to some of the others two to three coats but like i say just chipped really really easily on me i don't know if that was just me I don't know if it was the polish, I don't know, this is my only loaded lacquer so that's all I can go by. Let me know what you think of the loaded lacquer formula down below so I can know whether to buy some for myself. But this on the, this what you're going to see next is the swatch photo for Megalodon. The other one from Lindsay was from my Enchanted polish and I literally went crazy over this because Enchanted Polish is one of those iconic indie brands that you need to have some of. So this one is called Chao Milano and it is a um, duochrome a glitter duochrome between purple and green I think it's showing up on the camera this is probably best again to be worn over something else maybe one coat of this over black or over grey over green I'd wore this by itself and it got opaque for me in about three to four coats depending on how much you put on it is really really stunning and there's something about duochrome and glitter that goes together so nicely so have a look at this this is Chao Milano by Enchanted Polish Last but not least, we have one of my favourite brands, and this is Dollish Polish, and this one is called Love Me Some Pie. This came out in their Ultimate Fandom collection, the first part, and this is based on Supernatural. My, me, my, me and my husband absolutely love Supernatural, so I don't know why I kind of put off wearing this for so long, because I just love, I love Supernatural and I love this polish. It is a cherry pie-based um, pink um, jelly and then you have a mixture of the iridescent small and square glitters and then also black glitters this is absolutely phenomenal I can't describe it how you like to make it translate into what you're going to see in the photo so I'll just put a photo up now this is love me some pie by dollish polish those are my main favourites of 2015 thank you so much for watching and I will be doing now my June favourites and a haul so I'm going to keep churning out these videos today because I am on a roll thanks for watching and I will see you all soon bye guys